So this value, this uh, tutorial is just how, how to create a comma separated value um, file. So new project CSV um, main package main class public static void yes finish you should probably guys you guys have probably seen that enough um, and then we need to as we talked about in the last video we need to actually save to the file so to do that we just do print writer equals new print writer and then inside of here we just put the name of our value so this is going to be table dot csv um, and then we just need to import this no there we go import it um, oh print writer equals my um, out put file and then there's a problem with exception so we can talk about exceptions later but for now that's the easiest way is file not found exception okay so here we can just do my output file and um, we're just going to put some data in here so dot and then we can do print and let's do print ln and inside of here we'll put um, trial number comma color comma um, time and now in the next one we can do my output file again and then since we created a new line when we open this up in um, uh, Excel it's gonna put this on a new line so instead of trial number we want to actually put the number of the trial so this will be trial one and the color will be blue and the time will be two minutes. And now for the multiple trials we want to show in our table, we can just do that. Trial two, trial three, trial four, and then blue, green, orange, uh, black, and then two, three point four, three seconds, and five years. So this is this is basically like a I don't know a lab of some sort or any any data that you're kind of trying to show, and this is just really generic. So save it and run it. And it won't show you anything down here. But basically, if you open up chapter 5, it's all the way over here, CSV, there it is. And see, uh, Excel already associated it with its own um, associated CSV files with an Excel file because it's greedy or something. So when we open it up, OK. Oh, yeah. Let me try this tutorial. So the problem is it didn't save. So there's there's no data in there. Um, so I can salvage this tutorial. Um, it didn't save. So the final thing you need to do is save. And I probably talk, should have talked about this in the last video. I'm doing these out of order. Um, flush is basically the, the basis of, it's basically like saving and then Close, you need to close it. Perfect. 
So now when we open it, it records it in a nice little chart. So you can do the same thing with um, OpenOffice. So, and that's free, so I recommend downloading that. Um, and now you could write um, programs that help you record data for in tables. So I'll see you in another video. Uh, don't save.